My name is Lane and I work at Gulf States Engineering as a structural engineer. Uh, my typical design duties uh, are designing commercial and industrial structures. Uh, that can range from a gas station or a restaurant on the commercial side uh, to a large steel mill in uh, the industrial sector. Uh, the, uh, the project cost will range from maybe a hundred or a couple hundred thousand dollar project to an upwards of a billion dollars. Uh, so there really is a, there's a, a lot of, uh, there's, a, there's a huge range there. Uh, in a typical day, uh, come to the office anywhere between four in the morning or to, to seven o'clock in the morning and uh, most of my work is uh, is done on the computer. I do a lot of CAD, do a lot of 3D modeling. Uh, my design work probably takes up about half my day and uh, dealing with clients and uh, dealing with fellow engineers uh, usually takes up probably the other half. Lots of email writing, lots of correspondence. Um, AutoCAD and uh, RISA are my main uh, programs that I work in. Uh, RISA is a, is a 3D structural modeling software and uh, we build structural models in it and ultimately use it as a design tool uh, before we get to the CAD or the drafting of it. Um, the, uh, the hours that I work can range from eight to nine hours and to upwards of 18 to 20 hours. Uh, the, uh, you really are a bit of a slave to deadlines and uh, if you want to advance in your career uh, as an engineer, you're expected to meet those deadlines. Uh, not to say that everybody would work those hours, but uh, I've made a conscious decision that it's, uh, that it's something I want to do and uh, you know I love engineering so I've, uh, I've really kind of put my whole heart and soul into it. Uh, the stress level at, uh, as an engineer it can, it, it's like the hours, it can range from a very little to a whole lot. Uh, it's, it's really, I think, uh, depends on how you plan on, uh, I think how you, how you approach the day. Uh, I know the, uh, the deadlines get me very stressed out and uh, I'll wake up at one or two in the morning oftentimes uh, thinking about deadlines and won't be able to go back to sleep. Uh, but not to say that everybody uh, takes it that seriously. Some people consider it like a job and they do quite well with it. Uh, but everybody, uh, everybody handles the, the stress and the, the demands of the job very differently. Now the, for the profession of uh, structural engineering, you have to have a uh, four-year bachelor degree from an accredited uh, engineering program. Uh, most, uh, most structural engineers actually earn a civil engineering degree with an emphasis in structures. Uh, however, uh, in the next few years, uh, the requirement to be a practicing structural engineer is going to not just be a bachelor's degree but it's also going to require a uh, master's degree in structural engineering. Uh, this, is, uh, this is unique to the structural engineering field uh, because of the life safety concerns. Uh, the, uh, the understanding is that a structural engineer designs things every day that could uh, greatly cause uh, loss of life in, in the case of hurricanes or seismic uh, earthquakes. Uh, so the requirements are going to be a little bit steeper to be a structural engineer. Uh, after you graduate from, from college with your bachelor's degree or ultimately your master's degree, you'll uh, be asked to uh, do a four-year internship in which uh, where you'll be working for a licensed engineer and you'll basically learn the learn the tools of the trade. You'll uh, not you won't you won't learn a lot in college that you'll be doing on a daily basis. It'll just prepare you with some of the fundamentals. And that first four years is going to be extremely important in actually learning how to be a structural engineer. Um, after your four years is uh, is 
uh, completed, you're able to take a test for licensure. And uh, the test is a two-day, well, right now it's a one-day test, uh, but in a couple years it's actually going to be a, uh, actually starting in 2011, it's going to be a two-day test. And the, the test is very hard, and uh, hopefully you'll pass it and you'll have a license, in which case you'll be uh, allowed to stamp drawings as a licensed uh, structural engineer. And uh, if you decide to be an engineer, uh, unless you're going to work in, in some type of government capacity or in, in an industrial plant, most likely you'll want to get stamped or you'll, you'll want to get licensed. Uh, it allows you to uh, to move forward in your career. It allows you to hopefully open open up your own business one day. Uh, now, the skills needed to be a successful structural engineer: good people skills, uh, the ability to communicate, the ability to work hard. A lot of people worry that the math prevents you from, uh, or people say that they can't be an engineer because of the math is too hard. Uh, in fact, I, I don't do as much math as, uh, as you might think. I, uh, the, the math that we do tends to not be the, the hard calculuses. It's the trigonometries and geometries and algebras. It's very, very little differential equations in calculus, though you do have to take those in college. Um, in high school, for me personally, I uh, took drafting and that has been a huge tool for me as far as being able to uh, to do my job. Right. Now the uh, I love engineering. Uh, there's a, a lot of wonderful things about it. Uh, for me I felt when I came out of college I decided that I wanted to uh, to excel and I was willing to do whatever it took to uh, uh, to get to the point that I wanted to be or get to the places I wanted to be. And I found very early on that uh, you were given as much opportunity as you were willing to, to take on. You were given as much responsibility as you were willing to take. And uh, that brings a lot of stress. You know, a lot of times you'll be thrown into the uh, you'll be thrown into the water and you'll it'll be a sink or swim situation. And a lot of people uh, that they're very afraid of that. They like to be able to uh, know every step of the way and have someone guide them through uh, through every step of a process. Uh, for me, I didn't feel like I needed that, and I made a lot of mistakes and uh, got into trouble for them. But I was I was willing to to do it, and ultimately it allowed me to learn. Uh, and there was never a shortage of opportunities if you're willing to take advantage of the opportunities. Now, uh, the stress can, can, be, uh, can be a little tough at times when you have a deadline and uh, there's, there just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day and you're tired and it, you feel like uh, it's, uh, everybody's looking at you and, and expecting something. It, it can be very stressful, but uh, at the same time, if you go into the profession understanding that that's a, a large part of it uh, and, and you embrace it and you take on the you can take on the pressure and uh, and welcome it okay, advice that I could offer uh, somebody that is potentially considering going into engineering uh, if, if you're going into structural engineering specifically uh, working a little bit of construction jobs uh, getting to see firsthand how buildings are put together and the, and the processes and reading blueprints will be a, a huge advantage when you're actually uh, in, in an office drafting and, and designing something. Uh, also, a, a large portion of, uh, of what engineers do is just basic problem solving. Uh, when you consider things inquisitively and, and try to work through issues, uh, you can really train your brain to uh, to uh, consider, you know, how to solve problems and uh, and uh, exercise your brain. Uh, I, I do it all the time.